Hello and welcome to the third instalment of the LC Tutorials. In this tutorial we will be looking into how we view all the recorded data from our LC data logger. To start with we need to plug our LC into a PC using the USB cable provided. Open up a web browser and enter the following web address. The EasyLog homepage will now load up. If you then click on the view and save data icon, you will see these four options. Note that these options are also available at the top of the screen here. From the menu, you can choose to save your recorded data, visit the dashboard, view all data in a graph and access your event log. By pressing the save data option, the software will download all your readings to your PC in a CSV file. But to start with, we will explore the dashboard. The dashboard is really straightforward. As you can see, we have the current readings from MyLC. This also tells us when these latest readings were taken. Next, we have our min and max readings. The date and time here indicate when the min and max readings were last reset. So this is the highest and the lowest readings that MyLC has recorded since that time. In this action section, we can ask the logger to do a number of things. We can stop logging altogether. We can clear the min and max readings we currently have. We can clear any howl alarms and we can also mute the sounder. I'm going to clear the min and max readings now to show you how that looks. We also have the summary section, which provides a brief overview of your device its configuration, as well as letting you know how many recordings you have and what percentage of memory you have used. The Save Setting option here saves your device's configuration. Once clicked, your configuration will be saved directly to your PC. To save and use in the future, you can upload the save file to the EasyLog webpage when setting the configuration on your other devices. The EasyLog software will also graph all your collected data for you. To view this, click View Graph Data at the top of your screen. And here will be all your recorded data. The data in this graph is from when I started this current login session. Under the graph, we have the Filters and Traces section. Rather than looking at all the results as a whole, you can pick which session you want to look at. New sessions are created each time you start the logger. Each of these sessions will then become available to analyse in this drop down menu. Or you can pick a particular time period. Simply pick your date and time by entering it into these sections. You will also see the different parameters along the bottom here are all in different colours. These colours correspond to the colours in the graph. If we go back to the top and to the next icon along, we get View Sessions Events. And this identifies various events that have occurred on your device. You might remember that I told the logger to clear the Minimax readings earlier in this tutorial. And this action is identified here. We also get a handy date and time to tell us exactly when this was done. At the bottom, we can also check and uncheck any of these events if you do or don't want to see certain event types. The audit mark can be used to identify that somebody has checked the values of the logger. In some applications, it is necessary for sensing devices to be visited periodically and physically checked by the user. An audit mark is created automatically whenever a user loops through all channels on the device. The audit check function records these checks, which are then displayed in this chart. To upload your collected data to the cloud, click the cloud button. Once pressed, you'll be asked for your cloud account details. For more information on this, please watch our LC cloud tutorial on the EasyLog YouTube channel. And lastly, this button will take you to all the support materials as well as all the other LC tutorials. Also in this tab, you can update the firmware on your device. That's all there really is to know in using the EasyLog webpage. The next tutorial will be looking into the EasyLog cloud, 
setting up your account and viewing all your data. For further support or if you need any further information, click tutorials and support. This will take you to the LC webpage on the Lascar website. Thanks for watching.